they we are given a uh, simplify in this case. All right, three times three to the exponent of x minus four times three to the exponent of x plus two, and everything is divided by three to the exponent of x minus three to the exponent of x plus one, and that is four marks. These are typical questions that you're going to expect to have when working with exponents. All right, how are we going to simplify from this? From the given situation that we have, we can consider to say that we can see that three is common. We have got the part of three, which is a three. We have got three, we've got three, we've got three. That is affected by, by X in that case, right? We are talking about a consideration where X is being, uh, where X is the one that is affecting everything. So how can we simplify this? Remember we said we can separate our exponents from X uh, if we are given a condition, uh, let's say we are multiplying a to the exponent of m times a to the exponent of n, which gives us a to the exponent of m plus n. Meaning to say whatever that we are given here can be separated as a product of two uh, bases that are the same, the base of what? The base of a. So considering this part here, we can separate where we've got x plus 2 and also where we have got x plus one. But here there's nothing that you're gonna do on three to the exponent of x. It's already in simplest form. All right, so that is gonna be three times three to the exponent of x minus four times. We separate this uh, in this format of two terms that are multiplying, that is three to the exponent of x times three to the exponent of two. This is the one that we can add our exponents. We obtain what? Three to the exponent of x plus two. So everything is being affected by what the same thing here. There's nothing that we're going to do. Just remain as it is minus. We are back again to the concept where we are adding the exponents. So it means we were multiplying the bases that are the same. Which base is the base of three to the exponent of X plus one times. Uh, we have got three to the exponent of X times three to the exponent of a one. So this situation that we are having allows us here to factorize, if we check what is on the numerator alone, this part on the numerator, only this part. Let's consider this. Three to the exponent of X is common there. So we can factor out the three to the exponent of X, which is common. That is going to be three to the exponent of X. We remain with what? We're going to remain with this. Since these two will divide, uh, we remain with what? Three. All right. Minus the same thing, if we divide by this, we're going to remain with 4 times 3 to the exponent of 2. So that is going to be 4 times 3 to the exponent of 2. Everything over, if we consider also what we are having in our denominator here, we can see the same situation or the same scenario, just like the previous case, whereby uh, in this case, the 3 to the exponent of x and the 3 to the exponent of x is the same. So you can factor out what is common in this case, which is... Uh, 3 to the exponent of x, we remain with the here. If we divide, this is same as we've got a 1. So that's a 1 minus. If we divide by this here, these two cancels. So that's going to remain with 3 to the exponent of a 1. All right. So this is where we are. All right. We have applied this part of our factorization. By this, we can divide these two because the multiplication here. So these two outside of the bracket are the same they can cancel. So we remain with the three uh, in this case. So this is going to be three minus in this case. All right, if we simplify four times, that is four times three to the exponent of two. Remember three to the exponent of two is nine and nine times four is 36. Oh, this part, you can even use your calculator there. All right, over uh, one minus uh, three to the exponent of one. Uh, this is over one minus uh, three to the exponent of a one, which is same as three. And if we subtract uh, three minus 30, uh, 36, that is going to give us a negative 33. So that's negative 33 over a negative two. So this and this can cancel. We remain with 33 over two. So that is what you're supposed to have as your final answer. Or we can even use our calculator to simplify. Uh, like I said, the other part, you can even use your calculator even here, 33. Uh, over a two, if we divide by two, that is going to be 16,5 or it's going to be shipped here uh, to this. It's going to be 16 and a half. So you can even write this answer as uh, 16 and a half is what we are given there. So there are so many ways of simplifying uh, these typical questions.
what you just need is to make sure that your answers are in simplest form and make sure you apply the laws where they are applicable. If the law is applicable, apply the laws of exponents. That is how you simplify your questions under exponents.